A reading from the book of Mark, chapter 8. In those days when they were... Uh, no commentary, sorry. No commentary. In those days, when there again was a great crowd before anything to eat, he summoned the, 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 he summoned the disciples and said, My heart is moved with a with pity of the, for the crowd, because they have been here with me now for three days and have nothing to eat. Nothing to eat. If I send them away hungry to their homes, they will collapse on the way, and some of them have come a great distance. His disciples answered him, Where can anyone get enough bread to satisfy them here in this deserted place? He, he still asked he still he asked them, How many loaves do you have? Seven, they, re he, they replied. He ordered the crowd to sit on the ground, then taking the seven loaves, he gave thanks, broke them up, and gave, gave them to his disciples to distribute, and they distributed them to the crowd. They had also, they also had a fresh fish. They also had a few fish. He said the, the blessing over them and ordered them to distribute them also. He gave. He ate and they ate and were satisfied. They picked up the fragments and left. They picked up the fragments left over seven baskets. There were about four thousand people. He dismissed them and got on, got into the boat with his disciples and came to that region of Dalmanthuia. Dal. Menutha, Dalman, Dalmanutha, Dalmanutha, Dalmanutha. There we go. Dalmanutha. The Pharisees came forward and began to argue with them, with him, seeking him from a sign, from heaven to test him. The Pharisees came forward and began to argue with him, seeking from him a sign from heaven to test him. He sighed for the death of his spirit and said. Why is this generation seek a sign? Amen. I say unto you, no sign will be given to this generation. He left them and got into the boat again and went off to the other shore. He he left them and got into the boat again. Got into the boat again and went off into the other shore. They had forgotten to they had forgotten to bring bread and they had only one loaf with them in the boat. He jo he enjoyed. He enjoined them, watch out. He enjoined them, watch out. Guard against the leaven of the Pharisees and the leaven of Herod. They concluded amongst themselves that it was because they had no bread. When he began, he became aware of this, he said to them, Why do you conclude that this is because you have no bread? Do you not understand or yet understand or comprehend? Are your hearts hardened? Do you have eyes and not see, and ears and not hear? And do you not remember... When I broke the five loaves of for the for the, for, for the five thousand, how many wicked baskets full of fragments you picked up? They answered him, Twelve. When I broke up when I broke the seven loaves of the four thousand, how many full baskets of fragment did you pick up? They answered him, Seven. Uh, he said to them, Do you still not understand? Uh, when they arrived at Bersada, 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 uh, they brought him a blind man and begged him to touch him. Begged him to touch him. He took the blind man by the hand and led him outside the village. Put, putting spittle on his eyes, he laid his eyes on him and asked, "Do you not see anything?" He looked up and he looking up, he replied, "I see people looking like trees and walking." Um. Then they, he laid hands on his eyes a second time and said clearly, "His sight was restored and he could see everything distinctly." Then he said then he sent home then he sent him home and said, Do not even go into the village. Now Jesus 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 sorry. Now Jesus and his disciples said for the uh, for the villagers of Caesarea Philippi, along the way he asked his disciples, Why do why who do people say that I am? They said in reply, John the Baptist, others said Elijah. Still others were the prophets. He asked them, But who do you say I am? And Jesus, uh, Peter said to him in reply, You are the Messiah. He warned them not to tell anyone about him. He began to teach him that the Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and rise after three days. He woke. He spoke this open. He spoke this openly. Then Peter, I, sorry, sorry, sorry. Then Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. At this, he at this he turned around 
and to, and looking at his disciples, rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan. You are thinking not as a god does, but as humans do. He summoned the crowd with his disciples and said to him, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. Whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sakes, for my sake and that of the gospel will save it. What profit is there for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? What could one in exchange one what could one in exchange give for his life? Whomever is ashamed of me and my words in this faith in this faithfulness and sinful generation, the God the Son of Man will be ashamed of when he comes in his father's glory with his holy angels. Okay, we're gonna go to chapter nine now. Thank you for spending your time with us. Have a good night. Thank you for watching our show. Have yourself a good night. Okay.